Another example. So this one will be a bit more difficult. So we have two axes of symmetry. One in the vertical direction and the other in the horizontal direction. And now the blue lines are here. So first of all, we label the corners or the vertex of the figure first. It will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And therefore, we have to find the image of these vertex on the, let's say, yeah, right hand side first, but the right hand side of this vertical axis of symmetry. We can just think of this as a mirror, and then we have another mirror here. So let's look at the first mirror. So point A is here, so B will be four square on the left hand side of this mirror. And therefore the east image will be, again, four square towards the right hand side on the other side. And what about point C? Again, it will be here. And then D, E, F, G, finally H. So the main point is every image has to be has the same distance from the mirror as its object. So the main point is these two horizontal distance, uh, these two distance from the mirror, they have to be the same. Finally, we connect all the dots together. And now we have this figure, uh, but we have to still complete the whole picture because we have the second mirror, the second axis of symmetry. Again, these are all the dots on the vertex and we have to find the image of all these dots at the top. And we can simply draw it one by one and finally connect the dots together. And now the pattern is like this, just like the Chinese character R. Uh, 